Hi everyone and welcome back. Welcome to another video of uh, full stack skill certification on hacker rank. And in this video, we are going to play with the Node.js. So in the last video, we talked about the React basic certification. Prior to that, we covered uh, JavaScript basic and intermediate uh, certification. In this video, we focus on Node.js. So let's take a look. So this is our Node.js cert skill certification. So I will just go to this proceed continue and here i will get some test a current test which i need to submit 60 minutes two questions i think this won't take much time so it's provisioning servers now uh, let's get started okay so we are going to the test recipe pagination and order processing looks like interesting right SAP pagination. Let's try to solve it. Do we need a local setup for this? I will just check the code and then I will decide that do we need API routes? This is a recipe router. And what we need to do is okay, your company is creating new recipe management app. The Node.js uh, developer in the company, you have to you have been given a task to write a basic express app. The request that route recipe returns all the paginated recipe with the default value of page and the limit. The query parameter is the page the resource to be fetched. The default is one, and the number of items to be returned in a single page default to three. Okay, that's interesting. And page and limit you are going to pass as a query parameter. Okay, so this is our router. So here I will just do is router dot get and let's check our api url okay recipe resource url is already there so we don't need to add anything else recipe router it's inside recipe and here we are going to just simply say okay this is my get and here i will be accessing request and the response in this callback and here i will return the data and I already have a recipe JSON, right? So we don't need to query the database to fetch it. We already have a data in the JSON, which is coming as a JavaScript JSON object, right? JavaScript object. We just need to play with the, the limit and offset parameters. So let's say to fetch all the recipes, optional query parameter page and limit help is controlling the number of uh, positions and send back as a response from the server, okay? So here we will get uh, two attributes from the request.query page and limit from request.query. I think this is how we access the query parameter. And uh, what we need to do is the response dot status 200 dot JSON. Let's say here based on the query and limit, I'm going to play with this and cons data, which you are going to return is this. So I think this is the only code we need to write based on the page and limit. So if page and limit uh, is there, so number of pages, so page and limit, what does it mean is page one. Let's say, let's understand it. It's a pagination, right? Page one means page one means starting element and this is the limit. If page one is there, that means uh, read the data from the starting. And if page is two, let's say page is two, that means we need to skip the limit. So we need to just uh, return the remaining element. Limit is just going to control how many elements we need to return. So if page one count it from the 0th index if page 2 and the limit 10 that means we need to get the data from 11th index right we need to skip the 10 elements from an array right so how how what we can do simply build a, some pagination system right so here if page is not there uh, so let's say page param if page is being passed otherwise it will be 1 const limit param if limit is being passed otherwise limit is 3 
okay now based on that this, this we need to play with this so what we need to do we have the array please will tell me please and limit will tell me from which elements to what element we need to fetch okay we need to have a checks also so this is to get all the recipe and here is the check if both are null right is and and limit if it is also null and this is also null then we just need to return the elements we have in the database okay if you are passing the page and limit i mean those are not null some of that that is being passed right then we will start uh, so here is page one and limit two so page one and limit two so it is going to return only two elements so what we need to do is we need to get the the range who from which to which we need to get the elements right so what we need to do here is page two and limit okay const lower range lower range will be uh you got the page and multiply it with the limit if page is one let's think about the logic if page is one then the, the lower range will be zero if page is one then it is lower range is zero otherwise otherwise we need to multiply the the page with limit so let's say page two that means we need to skip page two and limit three Okay, page two that means we need to decrease one index and multiply by that with the limit so this is the lower range right let's say page one page one that means we need to get the index from values from the index zero let's say page two that means we need to skip the page one on I mean the first page multiplied by limit and limit is let's say three that means we need to skip the first three elements one two three so if page is not one that means greater than uh, one that means we need to skip these many many elements so index will be zero one two three this is the lower range index and then the const higher range i mean it should be very not that complex but i'm just making it complex looks like higher range will be limit and offset right so page and limit we just need to lower index plus one plus limit right lower range plus limit so we got the the arrays which we need to array elements which we need to fetch so we need to extract the the values from this limit to that limit so here i can try doing slice so what do we have is recipe dot slice and we got both the index one is the lower index lower range and higher range let's see if it works so what we are saying is lower range is page one two and run the tests meanwhile i will just check the code what we have written we got the if both of these are not there then we will just return all the recipes okay the tests are failing looks like can't set headers after they are done okay that's true so i need to add else if this is true otherwise play with this run tests again so here page param page is one limit param limit is three if page is one and limit three page is one lower index is zero higher range is plus limit minus one low range is zero then yes here is the catch right lower range is zero then we have to decrease the limit with minus one so here limit three okay because it's all about index array indexes right okay 
okay should respond with correct data when only limit is set in the query is some rp passing two passing four failing that is because uh, here page is this let's say page is zero page is one so lower index will be zero and lower index is zero so we need to slice from zero to higher index will become two zero one two okay but let's say when page is two page is two then lower index will become that is the catch right because here lower index will become should be minus one of this because page is two limit is three okay we just need to do minus one for this Okay, this is zero otherwise what happened what I'm doing so page minus one multiplied by limit and just decrease the minus one so that will become the lower range let's say the page is two limit is three then lower range will become zero one two and the higher range will become lower range plus limit two three four so one fix is uh, here what we are doing is we are doing something wrong right let's look at the tests here it is saying is when you are hitting recipe then it should use the default and should only return zero one two three right so recipe dot slice sometimes you get the the hint from this also right zero is the the first element and third is the the last index so what it is doing is zero one two it is returning this is the zero one two and here you can see six nine so what we are doing we can also use the same thing recipe dot slice here is the limit two right so if you are passing only limit then okay we are doing good then uh, if limit is true in page is three so total number of element the, the the higher index will be six and page is two limit is two and page is three so i just need a third page okay so page is three twelve eight eight to twelve So return the correct data if out of the bounds let's say if you are passing something like 14 so it's not in the bounds right so it should return an empty array because there is no data available if uh, your the requested data is going beyond the limit of uh, the recipe dot length so i mean we need to put some special checks also so one thing we can understand from these tests that uh, here we need to multiply the higher ranges just multiply the limit and page like page and limit so page is three limit is three nine so that is the higher range multiply by uh, and just reduce three from the higher range that will become lower range similarly page is one limit is two so the higher range is two and the lower range is higher range minus limit similarly here so three so higher range is six lower range will become higher range minus the limit that is four the only thing here is uh, now if i run the tests only one is failing we are adopting the same logic i refactored the code that's not uh, so this is our high range page param dot limit param and lower range is higher range minus limit that gives us our solution one is failing because our higher range is uh, beyond the length of the array right so if our higher range if our higher range is greater than uh, array dot length recipe dot length in that case we just need to return an empty array
otherwise in the else condition you can just return the same here we just need to return an empty array i'm not sure about this condition higher range means we are looking for that particular index and if, let's say we are looking for index 12 recipe dot length minus one so here we need to check if recipe dot length is 12 okay so there should be a case so let's say we have 12 elements so our last index will be 11 right so higher range if we are looking for this particular index which doesn't exist so in that case we will just return an empty array and then this our last test case will also be successful so if i check still our one test is failing i mean we don't need to check for those condition okay you can do the slice from one to n if the element doesn't exist in array it will return an empty array the, okay the, this is the fix right if let's say if limit is not being passed such should respond with correct data when only page is set in the query so we are not setting the limit and here we are reducing limit it should be limit param oh man now this is a low range is correct we run the tests and and then if all the tests are passing we will submit it and we will proceed to the next uh, question most probably all should pass we will submit it and then uh, we will check the second question which is let's move to the second one order processing right so we have order number line items let's read the question properly and then uh, we will proceed on this question e-commerce company is growing rapidly and the stock management is becoming a bottleneck as a node.js developer in the company you have been given a task to write an order processing script that takes the order as input performs few pre-order checks validations and return the results okay so the file let's say the code this is our tests so here we are creating the order processor and then we are calling all these more methods place order processing started processing failed okay interesting so let's see what it is uh, telling us place order accepts the order data as an argument and immediately starts processing the validation on it the order data passed to a function should have the following properties let's see our index.js for that so this is our order processor right order failed order success this is the place order okay place order accepts the uh, order data so require processor this is our processor that we need to write i guess right so place order accepts the argument accepts the data as an argument immediately start processing the validation on it and the order data passed to the function should have the following properties so we got the order number line items the class should emit the following events processing started should be fired just before the validations are started for an adder order and processing failed processing success okay so order processor class we need to write order processor dot on so this is the the method we need to write as a callback that should return a callback uh, from this that takes an argument uh, processing started processing failed and processing success so these are the the events which we need to emit from that so it's like a event emitter we need to write we you we know the node.js is event driven so it's like a simple class which extends the event emitter so when you see this question you will get scared right what it is asking these are this is not the how we can call the method right this is an object of this class and we are calling some method and passing some argument and the callback okay not good right then we understand if you know the concepts of event emitter in the node.js you can create your own custom event emitter by extending the event emitter class and then you can write these different different methods order processor dot on processing started failed success and we need to do some pre-validation checks and then based on the data we will be calling these uh, events 
okay so let's write the place order method here we can see place order so what we need to write a simple class or a function whatever we want to write uh, it's better if we write a simple class so order processor so here i can write class order processor extends event emitter i need to check so we are just extending event emitter here so what we can do is uh, we can now emit the events from this particular class that can be handled uh, at the index.js so what we are doing is we need to require the event emitter from events that is the first thing and then we are extending this event emitter now we need to define these methods right what is the first method is the place order which takes some payload so going to our processor here we can define this method which takes some data as an input and here we need to define the constructor okay so place order right so what we need to do the place order method some validations we need to perform okay so what we need to do uh, once you do the place order should fire just before the validations are started processing started right so what we can do is this dot emit the order number of the current order should be passed to the callback of the event emitter so we just place the order so what should the place order do so here what we can do is this dot emit this is the method and what we can emit with this is the first method is place order accepts the data as an argument immediately starts the validation processing started right And in the callback started for an ar or array right so what you are passing is you are passing an array so should be fired just before the validation started for an order so ta -ta -ta -ta, stock list processor and this is the data so this is the order number right we need to pass the order number this is being passed as an object so it will have a single order and then there are line items here it is the, the wrong information right the, it is talking about an array the place order accepts an order data as an argument immediately starts processing the validation the order data passed to a function should have the following properties and shape okay something fishy here it should be an object order number and line items line items is an array processing started should be fired just before the validation started and order number so here I can see in the tests also we are expecting an order number to be passed as a callback. So what I will do is data dot order number. If it is an array then our stuff will be different. How we deal with this? So here is order number property data dot order number. Right, this is the first event which we are handling and the order number current should be passed to the callback processing field should be fired for any reason that pre-order checks do not pass the callback of the event handle will accept an object containing the following properties order number item id and the region right it's like a stock market so what we are doing is this is the stock list id 0 stock 4 id 1 stock 12 and what you are doing is you are placing an order item id quantity 4 item id 5 quantity 4 okay let me think this is how you will keep reducing id of the line item okay and then quantity the quantity requested in an order because this is just a json object 
so if i remove the elements like let's say you ordered four then the, the remaining item will be zero the reason is line items empty insufficient stock if the the line item property is a blank array the check should fail uh, line items empty the item id property need to need to be passed if a line items requested in quantity is more than the matching stock property i mean this is a lot many conditions so this is the json object stock list line items passed to the place order function it will always be an array and the id of the line item passed always present okay so that's uh, const line items require and we need to pass this json stock list json right that contains just uh, line items right so here we are processing the order so this is the processing started for this processing failed order number item id and region okay now we need to run a map so data dot what is our data looks like so line items dot map data dot line items dot for each let's say because we are processing these elements we are accessing each and every element const so we are accessing two properties in the order one is item id and the quantity item id and quantity that we are accessing from the element okay so here we will check now it this data against our line items so if uh, okay const storage record i mean do we have this many elements in the storage so what we can do is line items dot uh, filter based on id i i dot id what is there in the line items stock list id equal equal to item id so based on this we will get the object the storage record if the quantity which you are requesting is greater than the quantity you are requesting greater than uh, storage record dot storage record is this dot stock if uh, quantity you are requesting is greater than this then we will emit another event this dot processing failed and we need to pass a couple of parameter in an object so and handle exception object order number item id item id and the region i mean language is a little complex it could have been lot simpler region is insufficient stock okay insufficient stock item id we already got the item id order number do we have the order numbers that is from data dot order number so this is a processing field and uh, if this happened only even for one item i think the processing will stop there line items empty properties blank array i think there are stocks is zero right 
this is the particular case and now there is a existing case we need to check if the stock is zero let's say there is nothing inside the stock then processing will be failed and the reason will be line items empty okay these are the two cases i can see here empty and ins insufficient stock processing success if all the the pre order checks passes so if any of these things happens i think we should be returning from there there will be no further execution return that is happening inside it if this happens then also return if everything happens successfully then i can emit this event success events so everything happens okay i'm returning from for each i think that is fine and here processing success should be fired or the order number of the should be passed as a callback of the event handler so we are just passing the order number data dot order number so that is only when all the checks are passing processing started processing success and i'm just running a luck here that my stuff will pass the tests otherwise we need to check all the test cases zero passing to failing so some base condition uh, is breaking here let's try to check okay and some good news we are able to pass all the tests okay one is failing that's not good but at least five are passing just in one attempt should emit the processing field if the line items are empty expected zero to be should uh, emit the processing field if the line items are empty i mean we are doing it uh, i guess so if uh, line items are empty so equal equal to zero then processing field and we are just returning from there this is happening when could emit the processing field should emit the processing field when the line items are empty okay so here order number you are passing dummy and this line items are empty okay so you are not pass even passing the line items got it so this is just like additional check we need to do if let's say line items are empty so here i can just do is line items dot length equal equal to zero then what we are expecting is it should fail with what reason line items empty i'm not sure about this order number i know item id i know and the reason is line items empty okay there are two things uh, here this inside stock list the stocks are empty so let's see if any of the requested line items quantity is more than the matching insufficient if line item property is blank array of the item id property need not to be passed to the error object in this scenario okay line items property in the, is is a blank array and check should fail with this the item id property need not to be passed to the error object in this scenario because yes there is no items right and there are lots of checks let's see so if let's say if line items are empty we don't have an item id we can just send it like this uh, line items this should happen outside what i'm doing so here i need to check data dot line items dot length 
because this is zero then i just have this thing and i will return from here okay let's read the code again place order processing started if line items dot length is zero processing failed without item object and here we start accessing these elements so this if closes here then uh, this gets started then there are two if conditions okay let's run the test now and luckily all our tests are passing so i mean it was a basic problem but it's all about reading the questions which sometimes is headache read each and every instruction carefully and passing each and every property correctly so it's like a custom class extending the event emitter so that we can do this dot emit this dot on this dot emit you using this you can emit the events that can be handled by the object of this class using order processor object dot on will be handling those kind of events we can submit it and we are done so we'll get the certification that we have completed this